Rugby shares little in common with swimming. Rugby can be a brutal game, a potent combination of power, agility, teamwork, toughness. Swimming, on the other hand, is an individual effort, zero impact, practical. It's often even playful. But as strange as it might seem, in Philadelphia, these athletic pursuits share a powerful connection. The annual Josiah A. Sterling Memorial Rugby Tournament, affectionately dubbed the Apple Pie Sevens, is an all-day sports and fundraising event in Philadelphia's Fairmount Park. Teams and spectators come from all over Greater Philadelphia to watch, to play, and snack on apple pies, the favorite treat of the young man who inspired this event. I love it here. It really is an experience because, I mean, it's all about fun. It's a good experience, a good cause. You know, it's definitely getting bigger and bigger every year. Because of this tournament today, um, you know, I've learned more and hopefully next year, you know, I can play. For many in attendance, the joys of this competition are bittersweet. It was established in the wake of a tragedy. Josiah Sterling was raised in North Philadelphia with his parents, immigrants from Haiti, and five siblings. Powerful, hardworking, and most often remembered for his remarkable personality. He was a friend to everyone he met. Totally open and giving, not a pretense about him. Just a wonderful kid, wonderful person. He embodied what we were supposed to be at the prep, men for and with others. He attended St. Joe's Preparatory School on an academic scholarship, and it was there he discovered rugby. Soon after he first stepped onto the pitch, it became apparent that he was no normal player. He was inspirational. It was just that kind of joy of rugby, and I want to get out there, I want to play, I want to be with my friends, I want to really make that hit, I really want to make that pass. And it was so contagious that you would change your game plan. So you were going to put him in in the second half, you're going to put him in in 15 minutes, and you're like, oh, I just go in, and he changed the game. Josias continued on to Temple University, joining the rugby team as a freshman in 2008. He established himself quickly, playing in more games than any freshman in team history and becoming fast friends with his teammates. In July of 2009, Josias was throwing a rugby ball with a friend in knee-deep water off the beach in Ocean City, New Jersey. Without warning, a treacherous riptide swept him out to sea. Josias had never learned to swim. He was only 19 years old. Everyone knew Josiah was an amazing athlete. The biggest irony of it, um, someone who no one could take down on the field or the track or wherever he was or the court, um, didn't know how to swim. And so that's something so simple. In honor of Josiah's memory, his teammates and friends have launched an effort to make this life-saving skill available in Philadelphia. All of the money raised through the rugby tournament's advertising booklets, food sales, and apparel is donated directly to teaching water safety to children. Swimming saves lives. Ten people drown a day. Out of ten people that drown a day, people of color have the highest drowning rate. And so with this fund, we're going to change that here in Philadelphia. We're going to change that at the Croc Center. The Josiah A. Sterling Aquatic Program has teamed up with the Salvation Army Croc Center in North Philadelphia, where donations and proceeds from the tournament fund free swimming lessons. We're going to teach Philadelphia how to swim. My favorite part of the swim lessons is seeing the children progress. When they first started, they were all tense. Did you guys swim much before you did this program? No. They're starting to have a good feel for the water. This is their first lesson, and look at them swim. Go ahead, show them how to do it now. I was really bad at first, but I couldn't really move at all. Remember, push that water back now. Pull that water back. Like, swim from like right there to right here. Now they've given me the tools I need to get better. How has your swimming improved since you've been here? A lot better, like a lot from zero to 10. With sponsorships and scholarships, uh, you open up a new world for a family. Not just the kids, but for the whole family. To get involved with something that's a life saving skill. I love the fact that my daughter's able to get free swimming lessons because throughout the city it's rather expensive. And she loves it. She wishes she could come every day. <laughs> The tragic loss of Josiah's educated many about the urgent need for water safety training in urban neighborhoods. And for Josiah's community, this tournament is a lasting solution. Anytime a community finds itself with a hole, it's so much better to rally around that hole and fill it with really positive things as opposed to let it sit and fester and just become a memory. This keeps him alive in the best possible way. And 
helps others to prevent this kind of tragedy from ever happening again. Rugby tests every facet of a player's athletic abilities. The total physical and emotional exertion that occurs on a rugby pitch reveals the inner self and binds a player to his teammates completely and irreversibly. And like that's like what rugby and that's what your size was about, was just that camaraderie, that, that friendship. He was very much the type of person that brought people together. This is the type of event that brings people together. His personality is just carried over and if you want to if you want an event that you can have somebody come out and, and really feel the good of, of something and, and what people can do when they put their efforts together, this is the kind of event you want to sponsor. This cause really means something. This cause has tangible results. There's strength in numbers, and that's what rugby's all about. The day after Thanksgiving, every year in Fairmount Park, the game draws people in. But it is the bonds they form that keep them coming back.